All right, guys, I'm excited. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. I apologize. Um, but I my last video was about the Tangent I-18 caboose I picked up at Train Fest. Uh, not Train Fest, the Big E. Um, that was an amazing show. I hope next year, uh, if it's not canceled, I'll be able to go back. Um, so anyway, I now have two Tangent cabooses from the first run. And when they announced the second run, well, I had to get more. Um, it's, it's a really bad habit. If you have the habit to give this video a big thumbs up, because uh, I, I understand you. We're crazy model railroaders. So anyway, uh, from the first run, I have C3003, which is the white safety caboose. I have 3001, which is the one that I did the video on. And... Uh, I'm going to open this box. I'm opening it upside down because I didn't want to take off the labels or sharpie them. Anyway, I have four of the new cabooses in here. I'm really excited. Um, not everybody's aware. Um, well, I think people know I like quality products. Um, I really do. Um, that That's how I got into brass, but Plastic and brass are getting closer and closer together. We're very lucky to have uh, these models coming available uh, in plastic because previously these cabooses would be two or three hundred bucks. Um, so, so I think it's great. So let's open these up. Let's see what this first one is. Here's uh, if you want to pause here and read this. It's about the I-18 caboose. This box is beautiful. This first one, ooh. Oh, it's the blue chest. This is my, I think that's gonna be my favorite. This is the 1981 Re Raceland repaint, which is 3005. This is a unique car number. No other was like this. Let's see, what is this? Is this a bill? Oh, this is a little caboose pamphlet. I actually already have one of these from the show. Uh, no, oh wait, this one's the sticker. Oh, this is the sticker. I'll have to find somewhere to put that. This is 3038 standard Chessie Caboose. And finally, this is the b and C3017, the maroon Chessie Caboose. So I'm sure you guys are as excited as I am to open these up. I'm ecstatic. So uh, let, let's start with what I think is going to be my favorite one. Uh, it was certainly my favorite looking at the photos. Let's open 3000, uh, 3035, which is the, the blue safety caboose. It's almost a baby blue. So opening the box, it's a nice suction, you know, good box. You got a nice little instruction manual. And the box is lined with foam. Here's the caboose. Oh man, that looks, that is stunning. Um, that is absolutely stunning. If you all remember, in my first review, um, I absolutely loved these caboose. I was so ecstatic that a company would do something like this. Because for years we've been getting these quality engines. And there haven't been all too many cabooses. Except for really in brass. There's been a few here and there, but nothing exceptional. This, this is next level. And, and uh, I am so grateful for these coming out because a lot more will be coming. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is absolutely spectacular. I'm going to put this down. I wouldn't generally handle a model this nice quite like that, but I'm going to pause the video, take you down to this level, and then we'll take it over to the layout. So there it is. Um, keep safety in mind all of the time. This is the baby blue Chessie caboose. Wow, is all I have to say. Um, 
just the the amount of fine detail on this. Um, I absolutely love the safety screens, vandal screens, whatever you want to call them. Now I still don't have one of the original blue ones, and very honestly, I don't really have an interest in one. If I want a B&O caboose, a real B&O caboose, I'm probably going to look in the 50s. Um, because that's when you still had the I-12s with the round roofs, and I have a few of those. Um, I even have an I-12 in Chessie. I wish I had bought a second one now that I'm kind of getting a Chessie kick. Um, but this, this caboose is spectacular. Let, let's open another one. I was debating what the second caboose I should open would be. I think we're going to do the Raceland repaint. Um, I've opened a safety caboose. I've opened a normal chassis in my previous video. Um, let, let's open something totally different. So same thing. Nice foam box. Instructions. There it is. 3005. The Raceland repaint. Uh, now the chassis, I believe the lettering is slightly different. Um, I would have to compare the two to remember all the differences, but they're all listed on Tangent's website. If you just want to go and look for fun or buy one, TangentScaleMiles.com, I think that's what it is. Um, this is not paid by them, unfortunately, but if Tangent wants to pay or send me a few cabooses, you know, I got a lot of nice Tangent stuff, and I love the quality. I really do. This is, I think, where all manufacturers are headed. Um, the ones that aren't, it's okay. There's different facets of the hobby. I think all of those facets are really important. Um, whoop, this one seems to have something broken in the box. Let's, uh, let's grab that. Well, there it is. That looks great paint-wise. What is this that's floating in the box? What is that? Oh, oh this, is a, this is a marker lens. I don't know if it'll pick it up. Um, one of the corners, it looks like that corner right there is missing it. Um, you know, a lot of people I feel like uh, complain when there's issues with their models. You know, I, I understand not wanting to have issues, but um, a lot of these issues are really easy to fix. I'm going to fix it live with you right here. I got a pair of tweezers. Um, Let's see, I want to get the orientation right, so green, okay, so red goes back, I think, yeah, red goes back, so we're going to do, we're going to just take the tweezers, take my finger over it, put it right in the hole. Take off the tweezers and then just press it the rest of the way, and there you go, done. No complaints from me. It happens. Uh, watch Forrest Gump if you need uh, the quote. So, um, anyway, these cabooses are beautiful. I'm going to take the two that I have opened over to the layout. Um, look, you would never know that was broken. I don't, uh, you know, I understand when people get upset because a model's expensive, but these models are not hard to work on. Um, Major issues come up. Yes, they do. Um, it happens. But no company is intentionally trying to sell you a bad product, that's for sure. Um, so, and maybe some of you guys might say otherwise, but you know. Let's go over to the layout. Actually, you know what? I'll flip the camera around. We can do a big pan. Let's go over to the layout. Now the, the blue safety caboose is already there. Get this chessy, chessy box car in the train too. I don't have any chessy engines out right now. Okay. Ooh 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 ooh! Look at that. I'm not gonna check coupler height or anything. Again, all that stuff to me is really easy. I enjoy working on my trains. 
Um, I know not everybody does, but if there's an issue, it's easy to fix in my book. Um, that's why I really personally like working on brass. So, uh, yeah, the, these are the cabooses. Again, you've already seen them. I just thought you all would really enjoy the uh, unboxing. Um, I'm going to quickly show the lights. So you can do this, I believe. Let's see. And you'll get the flashing red light. There you go. And uh, the marker lights will come on with this. You should be able to see it. So anyway, those are the cabooses. All right. I know I thought I finished the video, but uh, I'm back. These are the other cabooses. Uh, safety service, we work for both, number 3017. Uh, this one's really cool, I think. I like the red. Um, I, I really actually think this is an extremely cool. I have basically the rainbow here. I have tangents. This is a overland. Tangent, tangent, and finally one more overland up there. But these, these cabooses are just beautiful, these tangent ones. They, they really hold up. Um, you put these next to the brass ones, and they're comparable. They're not the same caboose, so, you know, you can't, you can't compare them that much. But in terms of quality, paint work, um, the see-through walkways and stuff, that, that is something they both share. So I just wanted to show a little better angle of just how nice these tangents are. Notice the see-through metal walkways, the ACI tags, the safety uh, logo, the track with the cross, uh, and then you have, look how nice that is too. I would bet the tangents a little finer, very honestly, but um, you know, without me actually measuring everything, which I don't care that much. I just want stuff nice and quality. Um, the detail, that's extremely important, but some of the really small stuff, like the grading, I'm not going to look at. But anyway, you can just see uh, another tangent one. So th these are beautiful cabooses. If you haven't bought any, you should. If you're thinking about it, you should, because once they sell out, they will be gone they will be gone gone. Spring Mills Depot made uh, I-12 cabooses about seven or eight years ago now. I bought three of them. I haven't really seen any for sale since. And when they do come up, they're like 200 bucks um, or 150 bucks, something just outrageous. So buy these while you can. Brand new from Tangent. They're 95 bucks. I got mine from Main Model Works. Um, for a slight discount, highly recommend doing that because then you support Tangent and you support the dealer network. Um, so anyway, thank you uh, for watching. I hope to see you in another video. My next video will be brass focused. I think we should do something special. I just don't know what yet. Any suggestions? Post them in the comment section below. Thanks.